What's up everyone, this is JR Tech and today we have a very exciting video for you guys. We have a desk tour, so let's get started. Right in the middle of the desk we have the star of the show and this is the iMac. This is the redesigned 2014 model and I really do love this machine. Starting from left to right, we have my light. Now this is a pretty fancy light, it has a bunch of different features for it. It has different settings for different kind of tasks you want to do. So if you want to do some reading or studying, you can do that. And I have a full review on it if you want to check it out. I also have several other full reviews on everything you will see here. So if you want to just go to my channel and search the video, you'll find a full in-depth review if you want to know more information about that product. There is also going to be links to everything that I mentioned in the video in the description box below if you would like to purchase it or to look at a review. Right here on the left right here, I have my Kinevo speakers, and there's also a subwoofer down below. In the middle right here, I have the Scarlett 2i2, and this is for my mic, and this is how you're hearing it right now. Tell me if it's down below, if it's pretty good audio. Right in the middle, I have a little USB hub, and this is a 3.0, and I really like how it matches the same colors as my iMac. The stand that my iPhone is sitting on right now is called the High Rise, and it's pretty cool. It comes in black and silver, and I really like the finish, and it really matches the look and feel of any other Apple product. As we move over to the right, you will see my MacBook Pro 2013 model sitting on the right. That's typically where it stays. There's a little drawer right here. There's not really too much in it just because all this stuff is pretty new. I do have the remote for my LED lights right here and you can change basically all the settings on this bad boy. You can change the colors, how bright or how dim you want it to be. And I really do like it. The only downfall with this is the lights tend to fall off from the desk and it's pretty annoying. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below. I'm looking at a way to better fasten it to the desk. And I just have my unbox knife and a little scissors right here. To the right of that, I have my iPad 2. And this is a pretty old model, but it fits all my needs. So still haven't upgraded it with the iPad Air 2. And just sitting on a chill tab stand. To the right of that, I just have my pencil holder. And I just like it just because it's white and it matches everything else. The great thing about this setup is that there's two desks, so I have tons of room, and I really don't even know what to do with this extra side. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below. But for now, I just keep my boxes on it for reviews, and I do have some couple magazines in the back for Money Magazine, and that's basically it. I just upgraded my chair as well, and this is a Herman Miller chair. Since I do spend a lot of time in my room, I thought this was a necessary upgrade. Here is my mic and boom stand. Now this is pretty customizable stand. I really do like it and I like how compact it is. This is my pop filter. I bought it off of Amazon. It's not the best of qualities. It doesn't really stay in its place. But so far I'm loving my mic. It's a Rode NT1A. The boom stand, like I said, fully customizable. You can basically put it in any direction you want. And it's great to tuck it away when you're not using it. But when I do want to use it, I can just pull it towards me. And it's as simple as that. It's a lot easier than having any kind of boom stand that takes up a large portion of the room back of my iMac I have two different storage options I have one it's called the backpack and I have my external hard drive on it and I also have another one to put my headphones on top of I really like these two devices because it hides away when you're looking at the iMac for keyboards and mouse I just upgraded from the Apple ones to Logitech 750 and to the performance MX mouse I really do love the upgrade and I would recommend that anyone that's using Apple products to switch over to Logitech down below my desk I have this little storage cabinet and I picked this up from Ikea and it's very sturdy and overall I'm very happy with my purchase. There's also going to be a link down in the description box below for this as well. Since this is a pretty new setup I really haven't been able to utilize my drawers and I really don't have much in there. I just have some USB and thumb drives. I have my SD card case right here. And then other than that I just have some SIM cards and micro SIM cards. Like I said, all the other cabinets are empty, but this is great for the future because I'll have tons of storage. Down below my desk, I would have to say I did a pretty good job with cable management. You can only see a couple cables when you're standing up above it. I did purchase a cable management system from Ikea, and I thought it was a great buy. I bought three of them. Well, that's it for my desk tour. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys would like to see a full room tour. Leave a comment down below if you would like to see it as well. If you're not already a subscriber, please do make sure you subscribe. I got tons of great content coming your guys' way, and I'm always going to be improving my desk, so look out for more videos covering my desk and room tour. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is JR Tech signing off. Peace.